Lab testing has confirmed a bag of powder found in the White House on Sunday night was cocaine. The US Secret Service is investigating how it ended up there. Sky News Washington correspondent Annalise Steelson joins us live now. Annalise, so how's the White House responded? Look, they've avoided any comment since the White House was sensationally shut down on Saturday evening by emergency services when this powder was discovered. The Secret Service has done testing and confirmed today that it was indeed cocaine that was discovered. Now, this was in an area that's reported to be where the public go in and out of the White House. And so the message from the press secretary today was that it's likely that that's how it was dropped by accident. Where uh, where this was discovered uh, is a heavily traveled area where many White House uh, West Wing, I should be even more specific, uh, West Wing visitors uh, come through uh, this particular area. I just don't have anything more to share. It is under investigation by the Secret Service. This is in their purview. And so we're gonna, going to allow uh, certainly the investigation to continue. And we have confidence that the Secret Service will get to the bottom of this. Pete, of course, visitors isn't just tourists and looky-loos. We're talking about people coming into the White House for important meetings. There's very strict rules around drugs. If you work in the White House, anyone who takes a job in the administration has to pass a drug test. You can lose your security clearance, which is a career ender if you're found to be in contact with drugs. And there is serious questions still to be answered about exactly how they got there. The White House has also been at pains to say that the president and his family weren't in residence over the weekend when this was discovered. Many Republicans pointing to the president's son, Hunter, who has a long history with drug abuse and a quite public addiction history. And they've said quite clearly that none of the family were there over the weekend. Okay. Annalise Nielsen, thank you.